So we're gonna let we're letting that dry. Um, now, the way I like to paint is so I'm letting the the gold dry. So I'm gonna work on something that I don't have to touch it, move it in a certain way to bother it. Uh, less less likely to even put thumbprints in it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to highlight the hair. So I'm gonna shift camera over a little bit. So I based it with the dark gold, uh, the dark, it's, it's a gold, it's not a gold. Uh, it's kind of a golden rod color, that's what I was trying to get at. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to highlight it um, with a yellow yellow. Um, see it's kind of streaky and gold or yellow is very very uh, thin. It's a very thin paint. So I'm using kind of the contours of his hair and I'm brushing across um, so I only hit the top of it, like the, the ridges of his hair. And what that allows me to do is keep um, the recesses clear of the paint, um, creating, creating a shadow. Um, again, with with painting Warhammer and as you saw, the scales. Uh, this Thor is much bigger than that little guy that I showed you earlier. Um, so painting at one scale, uh, tips and tricks might work. Um, for the most part, when you go to something bigger scale, you know, it should work. You know, uh, brush placement. Um, you know, kind of what I'm doing, kind of what I'm doing now will work, but instead of doing three or four passes, it's like one pass with Warhammer. So you just got to be mindful, super mindful of where your brush is at, how much paint you have. Um, that's why I'm using the palette. Um, allows me to pick how much put on the brush I probably could have got away with doing um, a dry brush on this maybe but again yellow is so bright and thin so this is gonna take multiple layers to get it to the the yellow that I want. So I know it's might not be as easy for you guys to see, um, but you can kind of see where it's dark and where it's light. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up his hair and I'm going to come back and uh, show you the finished product. All right, guys. So you can kind of see uh, the shadows in his hair. Um, once it's, it's not fully dry yet, but I'm going to take a very, very light dry brush of white and just to kind of pull it all together um so we're gonna go ahead and that's what we're gonna do next just not at this moment what we're gonna do at this moment is we're gonna go back and we're gonna get some gold uh, the brightest gold 
and uh, we're going to apply it to uh, his belt and his straps. So now this gold um, is actually thicker than the rest. Um, so it used to be the most watered down, and now it's pretty, pretty thick. Just gonna paint it on. See, so even there, you can see last coat, this coat. I'm gonna apply it thin, making sure that we don't leave too many lines in it from the brush strokes. It's thin enough that what it's doing, you can kind of see there in the middle um, where I've gone over it. Um, started to dry a little bit and then I brushed over it and it created that so it's pulling it's kind of pulling itself off so I'm gonna try to try it a little try it just a little thicker So we're gonna leave it a little thicker. We're gonna apply it and then we're gonna move on. We're not gonna keep um, brushing it because it will brush itself off. So we'll keep moving around the model here. Do light strokes because it's wanting to it's really making this hard. So you can see it's kind of it's kind of patchy there. So we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna make we'll make several we're gonna have to make several coats on it. So just gonna use use the brush here just to get it on there. Nope. We have to do some touch up, which will be okay. Um, it's nice that his shirt. It's just a flat black. Um, so when it does come time to clean it up, just putting a, just a little bit of black on the paintbrush and going back over it. Straps are a little easier. They're not as uh, wide. Um, I can actually put some on my paintbrush. Kind of use its thickness to my advantage at this point. I'm trying to get that one right in there. I guess a uh, 
not a pro by any means, but definitely a tip would be make sure um, if you're repainting a model like this, uh, take your time, have a plan in place. Um, know what your colors are and then let it dry. Um, nothing wrong with letting it dry. Um, if I wouldn't, this is probably going to be a pretty long video, um, even with my cuts in it now. This is actually, to me, day two. This will be day one for you guys, but um, there's no rush. Don't rush yourself. Um, and I mean, this all really started because I didn't like how it was painted. Um, and I thought just some simple tricks that that I knew uh, from painting Warhammer uh, could really make this model uh, go to the next level. And again, it's all personal preference. You know, it was just... I had had him hanging out in my truck just because I like Thor. Um, and I noticed that he started to get faded. And I was like, well, you know, let's go ahead and uh, repaint him and bring him inside. And he's going to he's gonna hang out here next to the Bismarck on my desk. So I'm not too worried about in there. That's where his cape attaches. So well, let's go see see if uh, his belt is dried. Um, get some on our paintbrush here. Okay, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. See, that's much better already. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and uh, I'll be right back.